All right, folks, Tim here again from high-end cheap tech coming at you. Still on the Mini A2 right now. Um, but today, what arrived? Quite a bit earlier than I thought it would. Yes, the Samsung Galaxy A51. Promptly did an unboxing on it. I'm shooting this second, so you're going to hear me make a stupid statement at the end about I might come back and shoot the intro on this device. Well, right now we're charging it. If it's not a 30% I want to charge it to pull, we'll see how long that uh, battery lasts. So, you know, go through my usual setup stuff there. Uh, and uh, it's got a fast charger with it with a US plug. That's an absolute bonus. So let's get right to all those segments. Well, here's a picture of the actual device. There you go. That's how it looks right now. All set up, ready to go. I'll be changing the wallpaper to something dark. It always helps save on power. And I'm not out to hide the notch or do any of that. The little pinhole is very tiny. And by the way, it does shoot at 4K on the front shooter at 32 megapixels. Not bad. Don't find that very often. This camera does it too, but it's a pretty much a rarity. And let's get to all the goodies forthcoming. All right, folks, it's here. I a little earlier than expected. This is the Samsung SMA5151F forward slash DS. Uh, as you can see, if you look at the specs at the bottom right here, this is the uh, Prism Crush Blue with 128 gig of RAM. It also has micro SD expendability so without any further ado let's just unbox it and show you what's in the box because that's what we're doing to owl I'm like slamming around boy don't slam around uh -huh. Huh. I think I got it we're gonna make sure. A second pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, I got it. There we go. So, let's see what's in the box. We'll just. Well, there's the actual phone, and uh, we're just going to dump it out of there, and uh, we'll get back to that in a minute. Let's check out all them cool accessories. See what's in this little thing stuck at the top. I can get it out of here. What the heck? Their SIM tool there, and then uh, see it's inside of here. I hate these, they're all against me. They are there. Ooh, this is very cool. I know some of them come with this, and some don't. I shall be sporting this little TPU case they give you until my rinky gets here for it. Never, never fail to protect your invest investment. God damn it! Oh, excuse my French. I forgot to turn on my... Do not disturb. 
Hopefully that'll help. Sorry about the. I got a quick start guard here, which we probably won't need. It's your basic phone, so you have to set it up. We're gonna plug stuff in that. And what all your cameras do. And how to install a nano SIM card. And it does have micro SD card expandability. But with 128 gig, your average budget user ain't never gonna get through that. So we're gonna set, oh nice to move to the side, and we're gonna see what we got here. We got some, uh, got our uh, uh, regular USB to USB-C cable, and some, uh, Plug in, yeah, this thing has, uh, um, what do you call it? Headphone jack. We'll go over the jacks in a second. I don't think there's much else in here besides a charger. But let's pull it out and check wattage and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. See what it says here. Oh, you're not going to be able to read it. I'll have to read it. Hell, I can't read it. Give me a second, folks. Being blind shucks deeply. This is... Uh, output. Five volts at two amps. Basically, ten watt charging, I would say. Uh, and a U.S. plug. Woo! -hoo. So, it's gonna make my job easier. And these supposedly get excellent battery. All that being said and done, and it's so cool. And the rest of the stuff in that case is some documentation, yeah, warranty, and all that. So let's get that plastic off of here. It'll be this is a long time, folks, since I uh, had myself a. Super D duper pooper scooper phone. So, long time since I got a chance to peel all the. Oh, there it is. We're going to grab it. Ah, it was that unboxing. It comes with a uh, screen protector on the front, and it's going to have a case on the back. And eventually, that'll be a Rinky uh, Space Blue Fusion X case. But for now, it's going to be that little plastic TPU case. Never leave your phone unprotected, folks. Even if this is plastic at the back, it still costs money to repair. So. Look at our ports. Down here we've got our uh, looks like our headphone jack, USB port, uh, USB-C, uh, speaker out, single speaker out on this thing. On this side, it's going to be our SIM tray. And, uh, our Pulling marker up and down their power switch. And the top. I'm trying to find that other 
damned. Uh, uh, where are you going? Oh, your little plastic here, too. Oh, I think we do. Yeah, we do. I think I'm pretty sure that's not a permanent part. I was being silly. Pretty sure. Hmm. Yeah, definitely not. Uh huh. How do you get it off? stuff up and tearing stuff but I shouldn't have to hmm. well we'll see there we go sometimes plastic quite elusive let's go protects the edges and kind of Good. Probably is. Yeah, there it is. I can see it. I just can't see the sharp. Oh, there it is. This is all part of the unboxing. So, I'm going to show you all of it. It's going to extend it out a bit. But, yeah. That's part of it. Oh, crap. Sure, it doesn't get damaged in shipment. Good on the hooks. It's Samsung, bad on Tim. Oh. I don't have much in the way of fingernails. Well, come on. Just start. I can get you off. Alright, I'm going to pause here while I rip this stuff. So, folks, it took me a while to get all the plastic around the edges off. It's just not very cooperative. And I still think, I run my finger over this, it's got this staticky sound, which, I don't know, maybe that's just the plastic, glastic, whatever you want to call it back there, making noise. Um, could be. If I ever get it up, I'll let you know. So one more time, let's start going over the ports. Uh, I can hear it clearly. So, so I got a 3.5 millimeter head jack, USB, our microphone, and our one speaker out. On the bottom, on the top, we have a nice cancellation speaker. Kind of cool. On this side, we have our uh, way up here. That's our SIM card, dual go or dual SIMs can go in there, and I know I saw it earlier. It's here. 
There's, I believe, a second drawer. I run into his nose. Well, my God. Who's this here? Swear to God, folks, I really did see it. Well, well, well we're not going to need any micro SD card expansion on this one. Anyway, but I know it has it. It may be just a shared tray when you get inside. So, I'm getting dust on everything here. Let's get around to seeing if she's got any power, and I know she does. Yeah, because I can't even turn it off yet. All right, so it's in Spanish right now. Uh -huh. All right. Cancelar. Pulsar dos veces para activar. Yeah. Romeo. Cancelar. Asistente de. Llamada de emergencia. Okay. Let's see if we can get English on here. That'd be very cool. Oh, come on. Español Estados Unidos. Iniciar. Botón. No, I don't want Spanish. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I don't want Spanish. <laughs> God. All right, I'm going to try to set this up. We'll get back to you again. Should be here somewhere. <sighs> Uh-huh. Well, I need to probably add that to the top. But you're not going to be able to see it right now. Give me a second. Yeah, that'll give you a better view. This thing is sharp and clear. I mean, we're talking. It looks great. That may not look like that with the, there it is, with the Mi-A3 or the Mi-A2 filming it. But believe me, folks, and it's faster than hell. I mean, comparatively speaking, compared to what people have been telling you, it works really well. I'm going to get that brightness glued to the top end, too, in my toggles. I got a lot of those to stick in there. But uh, we're on AT&T already. Put my SIM card in, picked it right up, bam, we're on. And so I, the only thing was that first few minutes, I was just like, I'm speaking Spanish. I want English. And so I finally got it somewhere where I could, you know, a little boot menu, a little bootloader kind of thing. And uh, worked like a champ. I mean, a total champ. And uh, I followed the guy's instructions. Nothing to it. And when I came back, I had my whole set of languages there, and it took you know, five minutes, and now I'm sitting there downloading all kinds of crap. Oh, I don't, it's doing all the updates right now in the background. Uh, so 
So, so far, I'm liking it. Oh, uh, of course, it's uh, Android 10, and uh, there's our app store with all kinds of apps. Some of them got to go, like Facebook. I'm going to have to add Messenger in here. Yada, yada, yada. But other than that, I would have to say for 270 bucks, You can't beat it. Uh, I'm going to have to charge it soon, too. Uh, it's down to, I don't know, 20% or something. We're going to want to get it charged up, and that's how we'll check the battery. Um, but this is a fantastic phone, folks. Uh, my initial impressions are, whoa. Uh, and it has 32... Well, let's check out that camera app. Of course. Let's do video. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Let's do a front fire in one if we can. And there we go, and there I am. Ooh, lots of brightness there. Let's uh, see what our settings on that. Uh, uh, <coughs> <coughs> 16 by 9, full HD. Mm hmm Watermark, etc. Huh. No. Well, uh, fine. It, but it does shoot 4K in the back. This I know. Uh, some more. Uh huh. This camera. Uh huh. No. Yeah. No pictures of it. If I need the setting up here somewhere in here. Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, and there it is. Anyone who's told you different has lied to you. Because there it is, folks. It does shoot in full HD, 3840 by 2160. That's 4K. Can't beat that with a stick. And we'll go over all that later. On the back, of course, we have 48 megapixel uh, shooter that takes, you know, essentially 12 megapixel. Uh, shots, but it bends them down so it takes the four best pieces and slaps them together. And we have a uh, 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel macro and a, a 5 megapixel depth sensor. All there for you to play with. And uh, Got all those ports, and uh, we're gonna check it out more thoroughly later today. I'm gonna get her super set up, you know, as I say. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, what? No, 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 no,
What am I doing? No. No, we don't fix it. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, I think. Better. This is better. This is better. All right. Gives us more room for more stuff. So I'll be back later with something more concrete. We'll check it on out. Still think there's a plastic film over this bag. But We'll never know. And we can change our gestures if you like the little buttons, but Tim likes his, uh, uh, what do you call it? Old fashioned navigation buttons, while other people like their, you know, really. These are the gestures, sorry, ain't happening for Tim. Uh, so we'll catch you in the next one. My initial impressions are, and you know, these are merely totally initial impressions. I haven't run outside taking photos, haven't done a whole bunch of anything with it because, well, let's face it, haven't had time an hour and a half of, you know, struggling with it and then trying to find a decent, I found all kinds of videos that were absolutely useless to help me out, you know, and so I went to a website and the guy's instructions were relatively simple, easy to follow, so we're all set up. I'll set up the face unlock also. Right now the fingerprint reader is adequate. I gotta add a, you know, both index fingers. That way I can use different fingers to get it open. It's pretty quick. I like it. For an end screen fingerprint reader, it's not bad. Uh, so for what you're getting here, is this worth your money? So far, I'm giving it a thumbs up. At 270 bucks. And free shipping by FedEx, two days, poof, it's here. And once they got their hands on it. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Of course, I have to still shoot the intro. And I think I'm going to shoot the intro on the... Uh, Galaxy. Is it too much? Why not? We'll see. We'll compare the audio to me and the lovelier mic in open camera on the Mi A2. That's all I got for now. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and leave some feedback. Thanks for watching.